Hey, I'm David and this is Davidisms. The weather here is a beautiful 83 degrees in Bluffton, South Carolina. And I may not have one of these every day, but the days I do, I hope it makes your day better. I'm going to try to do them every morning, but today I'm doing it in the afternoon. So we'll, we'll just, we're going to roll with it today. The verse of the day today came out of Psalms. It was, uh, Psalms 119, 105, your word is like a lamp for my feet and a light for my path. That's a, a, it was a great verse to start my day this morning. Been getting my news from 1440 Daily Digest, the little email thing. If you want to link to it, just shoot me a message on here and I'll, I'll shoot you over the link. But it tends to, to be a, they try to be a more unbiased news source. Again, the only, only real way to, to be totally unbiased would be to literally read all of the news which is kind of impossible for a quick morning read but we don't have have cable or anything and we just found that most of the time we were watching youtube or uh a movie or something and and we just we weren't what we were paying you know 70 whatever hundred dollars a month and not ever watching anything live like even even i i love golf and and even with golf like i would love to watch the masters would love to watch it live but guess what we have a five-year-old now and a little baby and we're not watching live sports i mean i'm i even try to for the masters obviously you can watch it through the masters app i even try to have it on you know during masters week but the reality is that unless they're asleep, we're not like paying attention and focused on live TV. And so there's just there's no point in having having live TV. I don't I don't know what that means for us watching the Olympics later this year, but but we'll I mean it, it'll happen whether we watch it or not, right? If you're if you're wondering what I'm holding here, um, I've been watching some of these YouTube videos. There's a guy who uh who clips his little microphone on a he cl he clips it on everything he clips it on a spoon from the kitchen all kinds of stuff well one of my buddies bought me a uh lightsaber bottle opener here he said he saw it and he just thought of me and so i said the other night so if i just click that mic on there then i've got a little lightsaber uh microphone holder oh just a fun little fun little thing for us we've got a five-year-old and a little baby and so we have been doing our very best to have intentional time and um and then also have time for us Little girl just turned eight months old last week, and so we really have not gotten into a, a really good routine. Jackson just finished up school last week, and I mean, he's been going to bed like 9.45, and uh, I mean, he's been, he's been, he wakes up 6.45 in the morning, puts his clothes on, comes to the bedside and says, hey, ready to start my day. Like, he's, he's all about it every day, but he's growing boy and and needs his sleep and not a dumb way we need time where he is asleep where we, where we can do stuff that we enjoy uh i wanted to to get into doing some more of these little videos and and video editing to work on our channel like we went to legoland back in mar april and i have gotten through finally one day of the four ish days that we were there and like it's just been overwhelming that i haven't been able to do any any of that kind of stuff because i mean when he's awake till 9 45 at night and then you still got to go to work the next morning then there's just there's not time to do anything there's not not time for for rosemary and i to, to spend any time together either so we started Yesterday, I I put together a schedule for when I get home. Like this is this is what we're gonna do, right? And I actually is this right to left or left to right? 
I'm trying to go left to right for y'all, but I might have done it backwards. Anyways, so I get home. Rosemary's got dinner ready. And, and uh, truth be known, I love to cook. I wish I could cook, but Rosemary would like to have dinner ready. And so when I say Rosemary has dinner ready at 5 o'clock, that's what her preference would be whether you know whether i'd made a plan or not now i'm this is a a loose interpretation of what our schedule already was it just puts time limits on stuff and and that you know with the goal of trying to help us get through an afternoon so five o'clock i get home we got dinner ready we eat dinner we got 30 minutes to eat dinner and then we as a family we work on dishes together for we should be able to knock out dishes in 10 minutes or so again all of us doing it together and and, and this comes from like you know you read all the you read all the things watch all the the instagrams and the the youtubes and they say kids don't like they don't care whether they're helping you do chores or whether you're actually sitting down playing a game with them on the floor they just want to do something and spend time with you, right? And so we, as a family, we do the the dishes together. We knock it out. And then we're going to move laundry over and fold a load of clothes. Tonight it was towels. And so we do that as a, as a family together. And then as long as the house got cleaned up before Daddy got home, then which it, it has been the last two days, then we go take a little walk around the block. It takes about 20 minutes to get around the block, and so that is the time that we would use to clean up if, if, uh, if the house had not gotten cleaned up before Daddy got home. And then, so we get back from our walk, we immediately do bath shower time and try to get everybody's baths and showers done. Then book time, because Jackson loves, 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 loves to read books. And so we, we on purpose, have book time every night before bed. And so we're, we're doing book and snack time together. We've been, we've been doing this thing called a pack. Uh, I don't even remember where I heard. saw it or got the advice to do it. But we did a pat, like a bedtime pass. And so he had a little a little ball and we'd sit it beside his bed and trying to give him some agency and control over his bedtime uh, that we put him to bed and then he can use his pass for a snack or for an extra book or for some mommy or daddy cuddle time or whatever, right? And it was just, but it was getting to the point where like he was... We would do our entire bedtime routine. We would ask him, hey, bud, you hungry? Do you need a snack? We get in bed. I mean, like, we are ready. We're done. And, daddy, I'm hu I want to use my pass for a snack. No, bud, you're in bed. It's 930. Like, you got to go to bed. And then, you know, it becomes a battle. It's, it's just easier to not, like, well, I don't know if easier is the right right answer but like you don't want him to be hungry he's a grown boy he needs to eat but at the same time is it is it stalling when it's at that point of the night right so we're so we are doing our book time and snack time together and then we're just we're just going ahead and, and planning we're going to do a snack every night and that way he gets the extra calories he needs to get his belly full and we're just we're just knocking that out again just doing it on purpose right um and that's what this schedule is all about is just trying to trying to have everything on purpose um we have been slower than how than the schedule i made out last night and tonight but last night and tonight he has been in bed before or by eight o'clock which is just like again compared to 9 45 at night 10 o'clock like we got an extra two hours of our night back we're we're winning at life right um i don't hate it at all so we'll it may not work tomorrow but 
um, now that I've talked about it. But it is it has really been awesome for us. I I mean I don't know. We're we're parents. We're just trying to do the best we can every single day. Do the best best for them, the best for us, and and so. Hopefully this gives us some more and and it makes our family time more intentional as well. Like we I am probably most guilty because I've been at work all day, stressed and and you know, in a head fog and then come home and dinner is ready and and like you know, I just wanna sit down and watch them watch some T V or something and um and relax and then you know it just everything gets protracted like we just we don't what's an extra five minutes what's an extra five minutes of bath time what's an extra five minutes of uh this that or the other and and it just it was It has been last night and tonight so much easier. So I hope it I hope it continues to work for us. Hopefully something I said in this little video here mattered to you and hopefully a little bit of my Davidisms made your day better. All right. Well y'all have a good night and I don't have a catchphrase yet. Just remember, there's no problem so bad that you can't make it worse. Y'all have a good one.